Hello and welcome to a, another tutorial on how to re-rig your smaller offshore trolling lures. If you didn't see our last video, I'll have a link to that video at the end of this one where we redid our larger offshore trolling skirts. Today we are going to do the smaller skirts. Slightly different process, but it's equally as important to get this one right. So I'm going to go ahead and let my dad walk us through this whole thing. Dad, are you whisked up and ready to go? I've, I've got my fireball right here. Let's do this. All right. On these smaller skirts, you don't usually have enough room in here to be putting wire leaders. So you kind of have to take the monofilament straight to your hook. So when you're doing things like that, you have to rig them up a little bit differently to protect that monofilament from toothy critters. So basically, this is what it's going to look like. This is what we're using right here. This is a tooth guard piece of tubing as well as this. We put a piece of tooth guard tubing through the eye of the hook. The bottom film's gonna go through that. We'll crimp it, run it down through this guy. We will trim this to make the overall length of this rig the proper length. And then we're gonna cover it with heat shrink tubing to lock it all in place. If you have any questions about the products that we're using to put this whole thing together, I have links in the description down below that will take you to every single thing that we use here so I'm going to run my model flint down through the, the guard, put my sleeve on here, and then I'll feed this through here. All right, and do my first crimp. Aluminum crimp I use on monofilament. Right here is the number of the crimp size. It's a 1.7. So on my crimpers, I have to be sure to use the right crimp on here. In this case, it's the one to two is the right size for a 1.7. Make sure that you do not crimp the end of the crimp. Lead come in about an eighth of an inch, like I have it right there, and then crimp it. So you want to have the ends of the crimp flared a little bit, actually. So I'm give one, and I'm going to move down a little bit. On this is a long crimp, two, and then the same on the other end. Go close to the end, but not to the end. So that white tubing will protect your line from the teeth of a toothy critter. Now we have to protect the rest of that monofilament. Apply this setup down onto here. All right, so now we have slid the green guard up over the hook and, over the, and the swivel. So my line is fully protected now. We've got the white guard on here, line guard on here, but I need to adjust the length of it so that my hook is adjusted properly in the skirt. So now let me go in and, and work with adjusting that and getting that right. I want it to where the hook is right. The point of the hook is right there at the tail, the end of the tail. If you have it up inside like this, it's going to get tangled as you're trolling and get fouled up and you're going to miss fish. If you have it out too far, it's going to be kind of conspicuous and you might miss fish that way. So you really want it right, right about here when you're trolling. What it looks like right now. I need to trim about an inch off that white tubing. So let me go do that now. Do about right there. So now let's put it back together and see what we got. Okay, so we've trimmed it and this is where we've got it at. So that's just right, right there. It's perfect. Right there. Now we need to put the heat shrink tubing on to lock it all in place. So I've got some heat shrink tubing right here. So I'm going to want to run it from there somewhere up onto a plastic bag. Right about like that ought to be good. So I'm going to run it right on up under there. So we've got our heat shrink tubing on here now and we're going to covering the green guard and up onto the hook. I have it up onto the hook a little ways to where you can see there's that sleeve on the hook right there. And that's to uh, for the heat shrink tubing to make a nice tight seal around. So I'm going to heat shrink it. I'm going to use a candle again because my heat gun is down at the moment. Making sure not to get it too hot because you do have monofilament inside here. So be very gentle with the uh, heating. Okay, so now we've done the heat shrink tubing. And this is pretty well protected now against toothy critters. So let's put her together and we'll do our last crimp. So 
and there's the end that your snap swivel on your line is going to go to right there. These ring and grommets are great because they're pretty inconspicuous. Yeah, I like when they're dragging through the water. So there we have it. This is for your small skirts. We use them for catching bait like bonita. Uh, but you also get kingfish and sometimes wahoo hit, and so you need to have those guards on your monofilament to protect them. That's that. Ready to go fishing. If you do have any questions, feel free to leave me a comment down below. I answer every single comment and I'm happy to get back with you with any information that you need on those. Or if you have questions about other rigs that you want to use, feel free, hit me up. Thank you again for watching. Hope you have a wonderful day. Now go out there and get yourself some fish.